At some 420 acres and with a capacity for nearly 100,000 prisoners, the sheer scale of Auschwitz-Birkenau is massive. It is hard to imagine how big until you walk it. As a healthy, able-bodied person, I was exhausted at the end of my several-hour tour of the site. Concerning the prisoners, or the ones deemed fit to work upon arrival, worked in horrible conditions with little food and no water, I am frankly amazed that anyone survived at all. Ashes from the nearby crematoria were dumped in this pond, making it a mass grave. It is treated accordingly. Auschwitz-Birkenau was intended to play the key role in the extermination of the European Jews. Four large crematoria buildings were constructed between March and June 1943. Each had three components, a disrobing area, a large gas chamber, and crematorium ovens. Gassing operations continued until November of 1944. During the deportation of Hungarian Jews in the spring of 1944, Auschwitz-Birkenau reached peak killing capacity. The SS gassed as many as 6,000 Jews each day. By November of 1944, the SS had killed more than a million Jews and tens of thousands of Roma, Poles, and Soviet prisoners of war in Auschwitz-Birkenau. At least 865,000 Jews were killed immediately upon arrival at the camp. The overwhelming majority were killed in the gas chambers. The courtyard by the sauna was referred to as Canada by the SS. Here, stolen goods from prisoners were sorted. The name representing the nation of Canada seen as a land of plenty by the Germans. Today, a poignant display of looted family photos can be seen inside the sauna. Every single one of these pictures was taken from the luggage of an incoming prisoner. As Soviet forces continued to approach that fall, SS Chief Heinrich Himmler ordered the destruction of the Auschwitz-Birkenau gas chambers and crematoria. During this SS attempt to destroy the evidence of mass killings, prisoners were forced to dismantle and dynamite the structures.